Spurge here with Revzilla, and in this video we are breaking down the new Sedishi Corsa one-piece race suit available at Revzilla.com. Sedishi is introducing their new flagship top-of-the-line Corsa one-piece race suit, and frankly, for the $600 price point, they knocked it out of the park. There's really no one out there playing at this level of quality at this price point, and there's a lot of exciting features to talk about. Now, just getting this out of the way right up front, if you're you know, still looking at this and $600 is still too rich for your blood, you could take a look at the chicane. The chicane is a slight step down from the Corsa, coming in around the $500 price point. The other note here is that with the Corsa, it's more of that aggressive traditional race fit. If you are looking for something a bit more relaxed out of a race suit, that's where you would want to take a look at the chicane. The chicane has a bit more of that relaxed style if you are a larger rider. Starting with the Corsa, Sidishi is one of our exclusive brands here at Revzilla. Like I said, this is coming in around the $600 price point. Let's knock sizing out of the park just in the beginning of this. I got Brandon as my model today. He stands at 5'11", weighs 170 pounds, and has a 38 and a half inch chest. Sizes range from a 48 up to a 60. Brandon is currently wearing a size 52. Now the note here, is that in other European suits from Alpine Stars and Dionese, Brandon is typically wearing a size 50, so he did step up to a size 52 for the Corsa. Make sure you're using Sadishi's size chart. You will be having no surprises there, so make sure you use the size chart, but Brandon, again, going up one size from his traditional European cut suits, and it still is gonna give you that European aggressive style. You just need to bump up a size, and that is gonna leave room for wearing a standalone back protector or an airbag suit. So you will be able to fit both of those underneath this particular race outfit. When we're talking about the sizing again, sizes go from a 48 up to a 60, two different colors available. There is a black white and a black white red option. And then really what we're gonna do is we're gonna now break down the construction on this. And like I said, there's really a lot to like here considering what Sidishi is packing into that $600 price point. We're not seeing anyone incorporate this level of stretch or protection. So as we work our way through, you're gonna see localized perforation across the chest, down the top of the shoulders, down the belly on this. You'll also notice that four-way stretch working its way across the top of the chest, all the way down the forearms. You're gonna have accordion stretch, which is gonna work out underneath. We'll get a better shot of that in a minute. Taking a look down the, the shoulders into the arms, you are gonna have TPU at the shoulders and you're gonna have built-in CE level two protection at the shoulders, the elbows, and the knees on this. Now for the hips, the hips isn't the CE level protection, there's just some hip pads on the inside, but again, really solid CE level two protection throughout and that reinforcement of the TPU at the top. Pops are reflective. And that's really an acknowledgement from Sadishi of their audience where they know that there are people that use their suits out on the street. So you are gonna see little pops reflective out here if you are using their one-piece suits for an aggressive street riding day. A Little bit of accordion stretch at the top of the arm. Again, localized perforation. You are gonna notice you're gonna have this TPR right here. And this is just a bit of extra reinforcement across this steam. This is a seam that in an aggressive crash, you can have a rip. So they just give you a little bit of reinforcement there. And again, that four-way stretch working all the way down. Entry point, you're gonna have YKK zips and then a full open entry here. You will notice that that liner is going to uh, be a removable washable liner. And you'll see this yellow behind here. So they've actually infused Aramid from the shoulders down the forearms. Really what they've learned from studying some of the crashes of their previous suit is that leather tends to not be enough to keep heat down. So what they did was they went ahead and they infused a whole stretch of Aramid down the forearm, which typically rubs against the ground and that's gonna help prevent burns while the leather protects against the abrasion resistance. Now, Brandon, I'm gonna actually, I think the easiest way to show this is to have you go ahead and face the riding position for me. So in addition to the TPU, which you are gonna have at the bottom, you also are gonna have a replaceable TPU slider on the elbow if you're going full Marquez style. And then you're gonna have accordion stretch at the back of the elbows, and then working your way down the yoke of the suit itself, all the way down to around the buttocks. So a nice accordion stretch here, great range of motion. And you can see with that size 52 that we have Brandon in, there is just a little bit of extra room here so that when he adds the back protector, he's not wearing a back protector now, you can fill that up. So just keep that in mind. There is no back protector included in the suit. That's very typical of a race suit. You would wanna wear a standalone back protector. What I like about this is you're gonna see that perforation working all the way down the speed hump on the back. Brandon, go ahead and face backwards for me. Now, one of the notes here, there isn't a hydration pack 
built into the hump. It is just a regular speed hump. So just a note with that, if that's something that you like, it's not a feature that's included here. Neoprene at the back of the neck makes it really comfortable when you're in that aggressive race tuck position. And again, you're gonna see that perforation works its way all the way down the back, full accordion stretch down to the back of the seat. Now, this is a great suit for the summertime based on all the, uh, all the perforation. The only nitpick that I could even come up with is you know with that accord or with that perforation you're gonna see a few little of those leather plugs that didn't get all the way perforated but it's a really minor nitpick when you're looking at all the extra features you're getting for the price point on this so as you work your way below the seat you're gonna see that four-way stretch works its way from the inside of the leg down to the back of the calves on this and then you are gonna have those expansion zippers on the back of the calf if you need a little bit of extra room and then there's gonna be an entry zipper point which is located on the inside so just keep that in mind those zips on the back of the calves are for expansion the other thing to note here is there is a double layer of leather across the seat again if you are sliding on your butt across the racetrack that is a typical thing to happen uh, uh, Sadishi has that extra layer of reinforcement down there. Brandon, you can go ahead and face forward for me. So the final note here is just taking a look at the lower half of the body on the front. You're going to see that four-way stretch working its way down the inside of the crotch, down the inner legs, and again, accordion at the top of the knees, and those knee sliders, those knee pucks down there are replaceable, and then that CE Level 2 armor is at the knees as well. Now, I think, honestly, Sadishi did a tremendous job uh, revisiting their top-of-the-line suit. The Corsa One Piece for a $600 price point is going to be an excellent option out there for those of you really looking at getting your first race suit or also looking at updating your existing suit. There is a lot of the bang for your buck within this, and I think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be impressed with what Sadishi has done with this particular suit. Now, there's a lot of other folks out there utilizing Sadishi suits, and if you want to hear more about what they have to say, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device and read other rider reviews, or you can always give one of our gear geeks a shout at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Sadishi Corsa One-Piece suit. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.